if you have an older laptop that has an internal wireless LAN card that only has 2.4 gigahertz band so it doesn't have dual band like the one I have in my old Dell laptop Latitude E5530 you see here it's only 2.4 gigahertz so you know that the band 2.4 gigahertz is not very fast and sometimes it has interference with other devices that also use wireless in your home of course we have the option to buy an external usb card but this way you'll be losing a usb port and frankly it's not very good to look at and your laptop if you carry it with you you should remove it and reboot it and it might break there is an alternate option you can change the internal wireless card so here i search on amazon dell wlan adapter and i found a couple this one is good and this one as you see it's half height so you need to make sure depending on the model of your laptop if you need a half height or maybe a full height like this one so now i bought this card i'm gonna install it now in my old dell laptop and see how it works i'm gonna switch now to an external camera and show you how to install it this here is a laptop that i'm gonna change the wireless LAN card for to do this I need to open it and it's very easy to open this one it might be the same for your laptop so this one has two screws here to open the back cover almost all the laptops are the same before starting to work it's always a good idea to remove the battery and here the laptop opens like that as you see the wireless line card is here that I'm gonna change this one and I'm gonna be installing the new one I got so to do this it has two small connectors here that you should carefully remove using a set of pliers very carefully don't squeeze on them just pull them gently like that this is one and this is two the polarity is very important so make sure the colors will connect to the new card the same this is a black this is a white you see the card it has a small screw here it should be removed now this screw using a phillips screwdriver that has a fine tip like this one should remove it and when you remove it the card might pop up so if it doesn't pop up just pop it up with your finger like that and here this is a new one that I'm gonna be installing so it's the same thing and here you should install back these you should align them very good this one there's a small pin here that should enter and just like that a little bit of force like that they will go into place here you go it's installed now let's assemble the laptop I'm gonna now switch to the screen recorder so I show you that the card now is dual band after starting the PC after changing the wireless LAN card you see that you don't have internet connection will be connecting to the internet soon but now I'm gonna show you if the new card was configured so go to control panel type control panel in the search box select control panel and choose network and sharing center click on change adapter settings and as you see here that the Wi-Fi was recognized by Windows 10 and the driver installed it's not connected of course now because we need to connect it to the internet so let's click here and see if the 5 gigahertz network appeared and you see that my 5 gigahertz network appeared now so I'm gonna connect to it and you see that it is connected now that was it I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.